Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. I am here with Haya, Haya Lee McDonald. Yes, nice Haya. Thank you very much. Where Where are you from? Tell Tell us a little bit about you. So I'm originally. Probably a lot of people don't know this because I don't have much of an accent, but I'm originally from Guyana in oh, South gosh. America, and came up here when I was nine. Grew up in New York City, in Queens, Brooklyn, and I now am based in the Washington D.C. metro area. And um, my husband and I run our business. Yeah, tell me about your business. So our business is Next Chapter Property Solutions, and we have two sides to the business. We do real estate investing, we do wholesaling, as well as creative deals. Um, on the hospitality side of the business, we do short-term rentals and mid-term rentals. So we serve a lot of audiences, government sector, corporate sector, um, traveling business professionals, but we provide those opportunities for them to have a home away from home as well. Awesome, yeah. that's awesome. How long have you guys been doing that? Um, we've been in that space since 2018. Um, but investing, we started doing that in 2014. So that's a pretty um, interesting story if you ever want to hear how that got started. Okay. It's been okay. a journey. Oh, man. Yeah, it's always a journey. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. before we, we hopped on here, you were saying you had a degree in was it broadcast journalism? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What so... led you from that into real estate? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. Um, so for the longest time, I knew I, I was always interested in communications. And I decided that I wanted to go into broadcast journalism because, you know, I like, I talk, I can talk to anybody. Since I've been a little girl, my mom told me I used to wave at everybody who passed by, you know, from our veranda back from the Guyana. So yeah. I've just always been, you know, like a people person, yeah. like to talk. Um, so I pursued that path into news being in journalism, broadcast journalism, and then I do a lot of internships. So um, I went to American University here in DC. and. That was during the years when Clinton was in office, mm -hmm. and um, I was there at the State House on the White House lawn when he was going through that whole, um, you know, the sex scandal stuff. Yeah, like Lewinsky, whatever <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, so I was interning for Tribune yeah. Broadcasting oh. at that time, so doing a lot of State House, and then I did an internship at NBC as an investigative reporter. Um, so in my senior year, they actually offered me a job as a field producer, and I was still in my senior year of college, but it was from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm in college, the metro doesn't run at that hour, right. I didn't have a car, you know, oh. and I still have school to go to, so I was like, um, but it was also the consideration of, you know, if you're going to be in that field, you have to be willing to give up your life, you know, to go follow a story, and that wasn't something, I wasn't passionate enough about that field to want to give up my life, I didn't, I knew, even before I had a family, and, you know, was married with kids, I knew that I did not want to give up my family time or any mm. of those special events for a job. And it's not to say that I didn't want to work, because I, you know, I loved working. I love making things happen. Yeah. But in my values, what's important to me, it's family, it's people. It's not a job right. <laughs> or yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I decided in my senior year, yeah, I just this is not the field I'm going into, and um, wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. My other degree is in international relations, so. Um, I was like, well, I can't stay in D.C. because I'm going to end up being in politics, limited perspective. <laughs> Went back to New York, and I ended up in um, at Lifetime Television doing um, finance, of all things. Never thought I'd be there. Then ended up in marketing. Um, one of the things I would say about entrepreneurship is eventually you probably end up becoming unemployable. Because when you have an entrepreneur's mindset, you know, you're looking to create things, you move very fast, you're yes. thinking and generating ideas, and when you're in a corporate environment, for example, you're limited by, you know, what the protocols are. So, I've been laid off sometimes, I've been fired before, yeah. <laughs> you know, and the last job I had was um, at a nonprofit, and I was laid off. I say fired, but that led me into um, coaching. I became a life coach. Because mm -hmm. um, someone recognized my gift for talking with people and opening them yeah. up, and they said, have you ever considered this? And I was like, yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, but I pursued it, did that, and then I discovered real estate investing, which is something I'd always been interested now, in. Sorry to interrupt you. When was that? What, what year were you talking about? 2010. Okay. The layoff in person. Who is actually watching my daughter right now? Oh. Um, she's a really oh. good friend of mine now. Um, but that was 2010. And 20... 2009, 2010 is when I started okay. my entrepreneurship journey. Um, and then in 2014, I found my way into investing. Jay Massey was my first mentor. And he Shout was, out to Jay Massey, he's Jay amazing. Jay Massey, he is he's amazing. He's really good. Yes, really, love really him. Good. Um, just a wonderful person as well. Um, Jay was also the beginning of 
you know, before blowing up, his book was still in PDF form and I oh, wanted man. to get it. So yeah, he sent it to me in PDF form. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna need a copy of that, Jay. I know, right? <laughs> um, but the headline was, I've been on this guy's, another guy's email list from being an entrepreneur for like four years, never opened a single email. But this one, the subject line said, how to make money in real estate investing with no, no money when you have no money and bad credit. And being an entrepreneur, my credit used to be great. Mm -hmm. When I became an entrepreneur, it dipped because I took a lot of risks and I had to spend money in there in a lot of places. So right, <laughs> right. So you know, you got to be willing to take risks. That's one of the things. Um, and I said, well, this is perfect because the coaching business is up and down. Mm -hmm. And at that down, I had one dollar to my name, wow. <laughs> one dollar on a gift card. And Jay's program was do this for third trial for a dollar for the first 30 days and then you start your payment plan. So I was like, all right, well, I got a dollar on this card. It's, me it's meant to be. It's meant to be. It's like, hey. Um, you know, and that's the thing too. Jay is, um, Jay is a, a faith-filled person. You know, he's a God follower. He, he really works those two things into business, mm -hmm. which I appreciate yeah. too. Um, that's part of what drew me to him. But I was like, all right, well, I got a dollar. Let me do this program and I need to find a deal in 30 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was pressure, but I like to put myself under those kinds of things because I like to take action. And sometimes, you know, you can procrastinate, yeah. gather and gather information and never do anything. So I did it, didn't get a deal, but I Jay partnered me with someone and that okay. did produce our first deal. Sweet. Yeah, so that's so, how that started. Oh man, now starting, that was what, 2014? Mm -hmm. You took that, your first unit. Yeah, so my first, that was like June 2014 when I cracked open Jay's program. I was okay. like, all right. And actually, Jay teaches about making creative offers. So in his letter of intent, he's got the cash offer, um, a subject to offer, mm -hmm. and then a hybrid. In there. Okay. So I'm writing up these offer letters. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing it up because he but says... But you're taking action. Right, I'm taking action, You told right? me to do. What's the next step? That's all he I care said, about. I don't even know, like from all the way from A to Z, I need to know, he, A to B. A to B, and Jay always says, move at the speed of instruction. Um, Love that. And so, well, I'm the kind of person, like, I'm gonna read a recipe and I'll probably improvise the last half of the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how I work. Um, but yeah, I, I did that, didn't get a deal from it, but June, um, he partnered me with someone who had put up a banded sign mm -hmm. and he was talking to a seller and that seller stopped talking to him because he was a little, not great with talking to people yeah and he probably said something that upset her <laughs> so he asked me well can you help me like get her back on track and mm -hmm. so i did because i told you i'm a life coach mm -hmm. um this is what i do and one thing i want to say to people um regardless of where you're coming from and coming into real estate investing or entrepreneurship whatever you did before you did it well for a reason so you really need to examine what what was it about you that made you do that well and see how you can bring that into what you're doing now, into investing. So, um, okay. I, yeah, it, because a lot of people think, oh, well, I, I'm just gonna throw away all that experience. Yeah. That's not what life is about. No. Um, but yeah, we did that deal, it took two and a half months and she almost mm -hmm. backed out like three times at the closing wow. table. And I had to have a coaching session with her at the final time and um, we got it closed. We made $8,000 and to me, coming from $1 on a gift card, yeah. I was like, this program really pay for works. itself. Yes, yeah. and it works. Okay, so this is real because you know a lot of people say, well, wholesaling, it's crap, it's a scam, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but that was my entree into real estate investing. Here we are now. Do, we do creative deals and a lot of other things. But um, that first deal, and then we we had a buyer who missed out on that deal, and I told him, I said, I'm going to find you another condo in the same development. And so I went looking, knocking on doors, and made a lot, whole lot of mistakes. So the first deal, second deal, we were like. Oh, we made a ton of mistakes on this one. We got it now. Well, you know, every deal is different. They're Ever changing. A whole other set of mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Which yep. we made those too. Yeah. Um, but what ended up happening, and this is, like you said, when you and I were talking earlier, mm -hmm. nothing before it's time. Like everything happens in the right time. Yeah. Um, at the time, I didn't know how to deal with foreclosures. So mm -hmm. this woman that I was looking for a condo, you know, the seller, I was looking for her. Turns out she had four properties. One was a foreclosure. I let that go because I didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, yeah. But she owned two condos and a single family house. I got all three of those on the contract in Maryland, like near DC, for mm -hmm. $148,000. Mm -hmm. 
all steel. three. Steel. That's a right, steel. Right? And then we ended up selling. Taxes aren't even that good. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, these are tax sale properties and um, sold the house itself for 126000 Wow. And I ended up, got a bridge loan, and then I ended up owning the two condos free and clear. Nice. So this was like. Do you still own those two condos? Or? No, I sold them. Okay. Well, a friend of my aunt's bought one, and she just sold it last year. Um, but yeah, so I didn't hold on to them. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what I know now. Going back, I would do it differently, you yeah. know, based on what I know now. But at the time, I was pretty new. This was six months in. But that deal made me $93,000. Sweet. With my first six months, I was like, oh, this really works. Yeah. So, so, so you're like, okay, I got to keep doing this. Yeah, I got to keep yes. doing this. Yeah. But that was also, you know, those deals and those mistakes are what allowed me to find the niche that we work in, you know, um, the specialty that's actually really well matched to my personality and what I love to do. Um, so I would say also to people, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Yeah. That's where a lot of learning comes that you're not going to get in a book. Yeah. Real world experience, basically, right? Like mm -hmm. even in like when you're working at a job, you know, they give you details on what mm -hmm. you're supposed to do, the duties or whatever, right? Right. You, you do it your own way, which gives you a little freedom, but you're going to do it. You know, they tell you to do exactly this. You're not going to do exactly the same yeah. thing because you have your own little flair or whatever. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, again, taking taking action, learning from experience. So, as we wrap this up, uh, um, where can people find you? Tell them a little bit about, like, you know, your, you have Instagram or yeah. any of that stuff. So, I'm so on you. Facebook. Um, my Facebook, I have two profiles. You want to look for the one that says Haya A. Lee McDonald. I'm in a blue sweater right now. Um, so I don't, you know, you can message me on Facebook. I'll definitely respond. Um, I don't post a whole lot on there, but you can also find me. I have a YouTube channel. There's not a whole lot on there just yet, but it's coming. And my IG handle is Hadley, H-A-A-D-L-E-E. -E. Message me there. And um, you'll also be able to find me on Calendly. Set up some time if you want to talk. Um, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Before we go, what do you have? What can you give people value-wise? And then what do you need? Mm -hmm. Let us know what that is. I love people, and my purpose on this earth is to help other people find their own gifts and talents and use those to shine, you know, like shine those out into the world. And so helping people understand what value they have to bring, you know, to the table, what, I don't care what field they're in. I love talking to people and I can help. This is something I do really well, you know, help them understand that about themselves. Um, practically speaking in the investing space, underwriting deals as well, um, finding a niche and really being strategic about how you find your niche. Um, that's something I can do well. Uh, if you've got dead deals or presumed dead deals, I can help you revive those deals as well. Love it. Um, so lots of things I can do. Just reach out to me. Um, you'll see my family link again. Schedule some time to talk. What I need, I'm looking for private money lenders, a lot like you too, because we're doing deals and we're looking for people who are looking for a return on their money, um, better than just having it sit in the bank or a CD or something. Um, so definitely looking to partner with people on our deals for private money. I love it, love it. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, Tech. All right. All right. Thanks.